Hey everybody, Kai here. So I'm gonna be doing my straight razor shaving tutorial. This is gonna be the video for the first pass. So I'm not really gonna to talk too much about the razor, but here it is. I'm going with my Max Brecker 88 quarter hollow. Um, this is just my choice. I prefer bigger, heavier razors. Um, you go with what you prefer, or if you don't know what you prefer yet, um, you know, I can, probably eventually make a video on maybe picking a razor but uh, I'm just gonna get started so I usually don't skin stretch it's a little bit more of an intermediate technique I think on the first pass so for my right hand I will be skin stretching and for my left hand I will not be uh, my technique I use my left and right hand pretty equally uh, if you're someone who doesn't want to use their left hand, um, I probably can't help you out too much. So we'll just get started right here. Gonna skin stretch. And then you just want to kind of take smaller strokes. So this is going to be a little bit more of a, um, like I said, beginner friendly technique. I like to puff my cheeks out, helps with the skin stretching. So now I'm gonna do my mustache. When I do my mustache, I kind of come in almost um, perpendicular and roll the blade. So be very careful with this, don't come in quickly. You don't wanna jam the blade into the, uh, the top of your upper lip right there. That'll be very sore. So come in very carefully and then just roll down same thing with the side right here and then I'll go just a nice motion all the way down right here go and that takes care of that so now um, you know if this is your first day maybe you just go up to right here so just sideburn cheeks done you can call it a day there um, You know, some people do full straight razor shaves their first time using one. Some people um, may be a little intimidated. So just do what you're comfortable with and work up from there. So now I'm gonna do my soul patch and my chin. So for the soul patch, I like to stick my tongue right there. Kind of helps flatten the surface a little bit. And, um, oh, talking about the angle a little bit. You wanna use about a 30 degree angle. So if this is straight on, um, you know, straight up, you wanna just add just a little bit of angle, right about there. That's what you're looking for. So for the chin, I like to do as much as I can. And once I get to this part, I do a roll. So I'm gonna stand kind of this way so that you can see the roll a little bit better. So that's the way I do my chin right there. I'm gonna repeat it for this part and this part. And then from here, just want to work your way down. It's very important to pay attention to the angles of your neck. Um, if you're coming down from here, this angle right here is going to be different. So if you notice when I'm coming down, I'm rolling as I get closer to the base of my neck. Um, that's just how my neck is. Uh, I assume most people's are the same. Rarely will you ever just be able to go straight down, you know? But um, yeah, just really want to pay attention to that. So as you can see, still doing the same thing, rolling the razor.
and there we go. Great first pass. So for the left side, for anybody who's a little bit more experienced or just doesn't want to skin stretch, um, at least for the first pass, I don't find it to be super necessary. So I'm just going to go with my normal technique here. So I like to use longer strokes. Find that it's more efficient that way. But then I do the same thing here. I do like the skin stretch here. Uh, I have a, um, as Lynn Abrams put it, a hollow area. So kind of a place in my neck right here that kind of, um, that's concave. So it goes in a little bit. So I stretch the skin around that area to make it a little bit easier to shave. It's also very important to make sure you pay attention to your growth pattern though. Because if you have areas on your neck, as some people do, that grow in a upwards direction, normally especially along the, the bottom right here, they have hair that grows maybe up or maybe slightly at an angle. You don't want to be coming straight down on that because that'll be directly against the grain. So in that case, you'd want to go down or with the grain as much as you can. And then in that area, maybe you use an upstroke, which I will demonstrate in the second pass, but basically right here and come up. So that's the first pass. Um, so I'm gonna get rinsed off here and I'll have another video for the second and third pass. So hopefully I catch you guys in that one, but thank you for watching. See ya.